Today on Press This, we look at two WordPress plugins to help organize both you and your customers' lives. That's right, Dan. We'll be looking at Modern Tribe's Event Calendar and Pippin's Sugar Calendar. Hey everybody, welcome to another amazing episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. This is the show where we take awesome plugins like we're going to talk about today, put them head to head, not just plugins, themes, or anything WordPress related, mm -hmm. put them head to head, give them some context, and hopefully share this information with you to make you a better WordPress whatever. Whatever it is you do. Whatever it is you want to be, whatever it is you want to do, we're here to help you out. That's right. Uh, we want to hit 10,000 fans. We're just inching towards 2,000 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say by the time this is out, we're past 2,000. So thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you to all the 2,000 people who have hit subscribe in YouTube and the countless others that join the mailing list and subscribe and leave comments and tweet to us. Mm -hmm. It's awesome, awesome stuff. What are we talking about today, Dan? Well, we're talking about calendars today, Matt. Commonly asked for thing. In a lot of businesses, situations you can get into, um, whether it be restaurant reservations or special events, fundraising opportunities, uh, band, you know, you know, touring uh, bands or, you know, venues that have schedules and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, you need to have an easy way for people to access your stuff online, maybe even buy tickets, or at least just to see what's going on with your, with your, with your business or your blog. Right. And, and you want to use these plugins because you don't want to take the cheap way out and just iframe embed your Google calendar yeah. onto your site. That That's not fun. That's right. not good looking. Right. Um, it certainly doesn't convey that kind of trust. Uh, and, and, ultimately will not integrate into when you want to make money, Correct. which we're going to talk about, we'll talk about that uh, in some of these plugins today. Uh, so the first one we're going to take a look at is the events calendar yeah. plugin by Modern Tribe. Yeah. Um, four out of five stars. This is the free version. They also have a pro component. Both of our reviews uh, plugins today have a free yeah. and a pro. Four out of five stars on the repo, 568,000 downloads. Good amount. Good amount. <laughs> um, calendaring, yes. much like the booking stuff we looked yep. at in a previous episode, very difficult. Yes. Because everyone always has sort of their own little way with interacting with dates and events. I mean, you could probably say the same thing about like e-commerce, but it's still pretty cut and dry to the sense right. of price, photos, description. And I, and I think that this is what lends it to the four out of five star rating. Immediately, I wasn't surprised. I was actually shocked it was as high as it was um, for a review because there are so many specific things that you could want mm -hmm. with a plugin of this nature. Mm -hmm. um, so we've used both uh, here at the studio yeah. for our own use and for clients and things like that. Um, I think that the events calendar plugin from Modern Tribe is yeah. super slick. Yeah. Gets the job done. Yeah. Um, you know, I like the fact that, uh, like, you know, typing in venues, it kind of looks up the names and the addresses. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, you and know, we'll, and it does. And Google Maps shows it up. So when you click on the event, uh, it will show it in the Google Maps. Mm -hmm. Phone number, contact information. Um, really perfect for mobile design. Mm -hmm. uh, a little shocking. Um, the calendar itself isn't very mobile mobile friendly, but the rest of it is. Like the mm -hmm. navigation bars and things like that for this for this plugin mm -hmm. uh, are mobile friendly or responsive. Mm -hmm. um, it's responsive up to a point. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I like when the other plugin that we're going to look at, Sugar Events by Pippin, yeah. is when you really get down to the mobile view, yeah. he, sort of, he changes the styling yeah. of the days, mm -hmm. and it kind of just goes down to either a single letter, mm -hmm. but then the, even the events on the calendar are indicated by just a dot uh, or a series of exactly, dots, yeah. which is kind of cool. So this works up to a certain point. It's not bad. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's fine. And, and it's, it's certainly a, something that if you're a developer, you can kind of go in there and help out <laughs> the yeah. situation kind of theme that sure. which is good mm -hmm. uh speaking of venue events and stuff like that you can actually memorize events um so if you consistently book events at like i don't know the house of blues or something like that you could do it that way um recurring events like weekly events or things like that um, a little bit more map integration so people can search by location on your website and find things that's all done with their pro version mm -hmm. all that stuff i just mentioned so it's 65 dollars for a personal license 130 dollars for three sites and 325 dollars for 10 sites yeah so uh definitely and it's and something we want to draw attention to it's definitely a premium plugin when yes. you get to that developer level mm -hmm. right i mean most folks are used to seeing maybe 150 right. bucks 200 bucks right. max for unlimited but right. i like what modern tribe is doing here because they're saying look you're going to put it on 10 sites 
if you've created 10 sites mm -hmm. as a developer, you're making some money, right? Yeah. Unless you're working yeah. for free, yeah. you know, <laughs> every single month. Yeah. And a lot of us aren't. Uh, so we're 325 bucks for sure, you know, as long as you're making some some coin off of these sites, right? Because right? it, it really streamlines, it makes it easier to, to work on. Yeah. Uh, so what are we missing as far as free to pro? I mean, some of the features like saving venues, that's really cool. Yep. Saves you some saves you some time. It, yeah. Uh, so, yep, calendar stuff, recurring events. So again, you could say mm -hmm. day, to day, day to day, day to day to day to day or week to week, this is happening. Like every week's trivia night or something like that mm -hmm. at the local bar or something, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but what I really was impressed by with this plugin was that the free version is not... It's not a freemium plugin that we're typically used to where it's, this is a free plugin that is really, really bare bones and you can't really do anything with it. Mm -hmm. And thank you. For, it's almost like a demo mm -hmm. in, a, in a lot of cases with the plugins we look at. And this wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. You can fully, you can use this event calendar just fine without, with just the free version. But if you're a serious business, that's where you go into the premium version, which makes sense. I mean, right. if I'm just a blogger and I want to tell people or, you know, I'm going to be making an appearance here or something. I don't know. Right. I don't want to spend money on that. I just pop it in there. But if I'm selling tickets to a venue, uh, time to fork out the dough to right. sort, of, sort of a little bit reciprocal value there. Right. And for what, 65 bucks for one. For one website. Um, now this price, did you look up the, the so this integrates oh, I'm ticket sorry. sales with. Woo. Yes. So the $65 pro license, you can actually just get the add-on instead for okay. WooCommerce. So the WooCommerce ticket sales, um, do we talk about that yet? We haven't. I don't think it actually. <laughs> so it also integrates with WooCommerce. So there's a plugin that you can buy. Those prices I mentioned earlier, the 65, 130, and 325 also apply for the add-on. So it's a separate purchase. Gotcha. So if you just want to be able to have people paying for tickets using the WooCommerce um, uh, framework, you can do that for $65 on one website or go up from there. Right. Which is pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sugar, sugar. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, let's jump on over to the next plugin. This one done by our good pal uh, Pippin from P Pippin's Plugins. Pippin Williamson. Uh, sugar Calendar, 15,000 downloads yeah. uh, in the repo. That's in the repo. I, he tends to flow over a place, though, where you can get his stuff everywhere. Which, yeah. So it's kind of a little bit trickier to tell. A little bit in GitHub, a little bit yeah. on .org. Um, super straightforward mm -hmm. event calendar, yep. right? Um, you know, what I like to... Mm -hmm. Call maybe a lightweight, bare bones calendar. We've used it uh, in mm -hmm. multiple projects yeah. that we have responsive, yeah. clean, yeah. fast. Um, works by placing a short code yep. uh, into the pages. Um, it does what it does what it's supposed to do. Yep. Um, pro version is eighteen bucks for one site, uh, thirty three for five sites, and then if you want to go the unlimited route, eighty one bucks. So yep. price comparison for that developer out yeah. there super affordable but on the flip side maybe not as uh feature rich this is definitely this is definitely the more developer friendly of the two plugins so if you're a mm -hmm. developer watching our show and you're, you're thinking about a plugin uh, it's a little bit easier to get into with the sugar calendar because it's a little bit more minimal to begin with mm -hmm. um, and it's cheaper to get into it if you're you know if you have like one or two clients you're doing this for it's easier to look at that way and say mm -hmm. oh yeah you know what i'm just going to set this up and set this up for you the pro version gives you google Maps support widget support gravity form support which is pretty cool mm -hmm. um you can even ch uh set categories with the short code um so like if you wanted to have like let's in the case of venues mm -hmm. I wrote down here, let's say I had metal shows and rap shows. Mm -hmm. I could have category metal and then you could have a special page just for looking at metal. Mm, that's really cool. Metal shows or yeah. rap shows. One mm -hmm. of the th one of the things that um, I know wasn't working at the time we the last time we used this in a pretty complex project mm -hmm. is it didn't have multiple day support mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. an event uh, in either pro or free or pro. Yeah. Um, so check with your uh, check with Pippin <laughs> yeah. before uh, if you really need that feature feature uh, before using it yeah. uh, or purchasing it and uh, just double check that that can do that. Uh, so overall, I mean, yeah. I think Modern Tribe gives the whole boat and when you just need that one little thing to get over that hump like either selling or uh, recurring mm -hmm. uh, trips, uh, recurring events, events yeah. and remembering venue names Mm -hmm. If those are pain points for you, mm -hmm. it's worth. Yeah. Oh, it's well worth it. I the, mean, the little bit of cash, and if you're a little bit more bootstrapped or you know don't want to shell out too much money, right. um, or you're maybe a hardcore developer, or as I bring back all the time, if you are in the ecosystem mm -hmm. of easy digital downloads yep. and Pippin's other plugins, why not continue to stay in that uh, right. unless there's something that's totally missing from his plugin yeah. that you need, and that events calendar might have. 
Yeah. I do want to do a like a really quick, if you don't mind, sure. like 30 second tutorial. Um, if you're just using these for the first time, just from my own experience, events calendar, the way it works, it creates a slug. So it'll basically say, you know, by default, it would be in our case, like the test site we use is Zicky.net. So it'd be Zicky.net slash events uh, automatically. Um, you can also just, of course, create a page to that and slug it right over. That's the way they show the calendar, because otherwise, you know, how, they, how are other people going to see the calendar? The way Pippin's one works is very interesting. It's actually done just with a short code. Mm -hmm. So you just create a page. You can call it events if you wanted to again. And you just put the short code um, SC underscore events underscore calendar right into that page. And it displays the calendar that way. So a couple of different things. Um, in both cases, they weren't very kind of you know, out, out there about how to actually implement it. So I just wanted to really quickly go over it. That's why you're viewing this. Right yeah, now. absolutely. Uh, I mean, right on, you know, just like you said before. Yeah. And of course, this is Pippin's yeah. plugin. So yeah. he is he is a developer. Oh, and, that, and that's totally cool. And that's why I think that this is yeah. more the developer si sided uh, uh, viewpoint here. Yeah, because uh, he, I mean, right, right on the yeah. sales page right. of, of his plugin, right. he has the action hooks, he has the filter hooks, he has, you know, setting up an event archive yeah. and, and what template yeah. files you have to. So, I mean, if you're looking right. and you should already know this, if you're in the mm -hmm. Pippin realm, <laughs> uh, that right. this is this is really good for developers. Yeah. Um, and uh, Modern Tribe's really going to get you off the ground running mm -hmm. if you're not really into that kind of thing. Correct. Or there's features in there that you need. Yeah. Sure. Um, so all in all, we like them both. Yeah. Good for different reasons. Different, different reasons. Yeah. Uh, different different uh, you know applications. So uh, and the other thing that I wouldn't even mention some of the other add-ons that Event Calendar Pro brings to the table is Event Bright tickets. Yep. Facebook events. Yeah. I mean all these other different external yeah. parties. How much else, just really quickly look and see how much those add-ons are because I remember seeing I didn't actually look through. Are they all the same price? Yeah, they're all gonna be the yep. same price for the add-ons, about sixty-five, one thirty through twenty-five. Yeah, and I mean, look, if you're like we said before, don't be afraid to price because you're gonna you're gonna be getting, you know, ten times your money, if not if not more. Okay. Um, so the Facebook events is a little bit cheaper, thirty bucks. Thirty, fifty, one hundred. Yeah. Uh, the same respective categories. Mm -hmm. uh, so good stuff. Cool. Good stuff. Um, they both work with our minimize theme. Yes, they that do. was amazing. In fact, it was really cool because the um, the modern tribe on the events calendar actually looks has the same aesthetic, which is really cool. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it does. It actually works really well. Yeah. It looks really good with that. Like, uh, of course, as always, these shows are brought to you by the themes that we uh, mm -hmm. offer up and sell. Slocumstudio.com uh, slash themes, and you'll get a look at some of our WordPress themes. Bunch of them you can get for free, just like we just like, uh, just Modern like a, Tribe lot of the, does. a lot of the free plugins we have. Uh, Epic actually released over the weekend. We're over 2,500 downloads yeah. at this point and uh, going on 13,000 uh, with Minimize. And... Scott, our good buddy Scott, is putting in our real estate plugins. Yes. Uh, excuse me, plugin and theme yes. into the repo. Uh, so if you're doing some real estate stuff, check that one out too. Please do. As always, slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. Hit the little YouTube subscribe button. Tweet to us. Email us. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. Leave a comment, so on and so forth. Till next time. Till next time, guys. Thanks Th a lot. Thanks.